Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a January update on my 20 gallon nano tank. So I hope you guys stay tuned. So right before this, I caught my black clownfish and my golden bandit shrimp kind of fighting and picking at each other. But I'm not too worried. I think it's because all three of my fish, my two clownfish, my yellow sessa basslet, and the shrimp all share kind of the same home at this middle cave-like structure. Um, I think the golden one has a better reputation than the regular coral bandit shrimp. I heard that the other one can go after fish and they get a lot bigger. So this one is a lot smaller and he seems more peaceful. So here you can see my orange clownfish. At his top fin near the middle section with his um, little black blob, the middle used to be orange, but he started changing color. He's turning more black. My black clownfish at the beginning used to have an orange mouth, but he's kind of changed colors. Here's another clip of them just hanging out after I turned off the pump. Um, they're starting to get really smart. Once I come around with the food, I have a little cup. They'll start grouping at the top right corner because that's usually where I feed them. So it's kind of funny watching them kind of hang out. Here's an update on my Zoa rock. So this thing has gone already through two dips with Revive and I still catch these little nudibranchs. So today I'm doing a um, just RODI water no salt with Revive. It should be a lot stronger and should kill these nudibranchs instantly. I'm still looking for eggs. I caught actually two um, bunches that I scraped off, but hopefully this is the last time I'm dipping this one rock. Everything else seems fine. So here's an update after I dipped the rock. Um, it's in that back left corner just about a day after. The zoas are still closed up and not looking so good, but my scrambled eggs have already bounced back. Here's a quick little look at my tank. Torch is doing great, of course. They recently reclassified torches, hammers, and frog spawns. So torches are in their own category um, known as euphilia, as all we, we all know it. But they change hammers and frog spawns to, I think it's called Frimbophilia, something like that. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering a name, but not like it really matters to me. I'm still having trouble with this one golden uh, hammer at the front right. But I might have an idea of what's causing it. And I'll show you guys this experiment I'm doing at the end of this video. So, so hopefully all goes well. I really thought it was a nitrate problem, but I'm starting to think it's something else. Here's a closer look at my Zoas after the dip. Uh, I took this about three days ago, but today they look about the same. Um, hopefully they recover soon. The scrambled eggs do look a lot better though. So the hammer you see right here on the top uh, front glass, I just traded this one in with um, the other chaos frag in the back for some soft corals for my pico tank. I hope you guys stay tuned for next week. That video should be pretty exciting. I'm getting some invertebrates along with some of the new corals. So here's a video of some of my SPS after feeding reef roids to the tank. It's kind of cool because they have these little sweeper tentacles out, which is pretty neat. You see how thin and stringy they are, which is pretty impressive. I never really see these a lot. Uh, my forest fire digitata is doing well. The right side is still recovering. doesn't look as great as the left side, but it's growing at a steady pace. Here's a look at some of the hammers. The top right one, the green and purple one, my camera is able to finally pick up the true colors from it and it just looks so nice finally. I'm able to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, the middle one here you can see the color is kind of bleaching away. Yuma update, so the two at the top left are doing a lot better. I think I moved my wave maker to the middle a little bit so they get some more light so they're coloring up a little bit but it's still pretty massive. Now this one's growing a little baby which you can see at the top which is really neat. Uh, this is my first mushroom baby I'm having, so I'm pretty excited about that one. My acans are looking great. The green and um, blue one at the top left is starting to finally grow some heads on the back, so that one's getting pretty chunky. Here's a look at my green torch. It's starting to split into fours, but slowly, slowly. They take forever to split, but eventually we'll get there. So some bad news. I'm starting to see Aptasia in the tank again, but F Aptasia is actually working really well. I've been using it on a few heads and gosh, so much better than Aptasia X. And here's a closer look at my Go Torch. I think the Go Torch is probably my favorite piece. It's a showpiece of the tank and it's probably the best thing I've ever purchased. 
I hope this guy gets some new heads soon. I think after removing my anemone not too long ago, these two have been um, getting along a little bit more, but there still is a little bit of aggression from my black clam fish, like you can see her right here, chasing uh, the orange one off. But she's been really nice to me. She hasn't bit me ever since I removed that thing, so that's a plus. But I'm about to show you guys a top-down view of the SPS here. Um, all my SPS are doing really well. They're starting to encrust around the base. My golden rod or an acropora is starting to grow a few more branches, I think, which is really nice. Check out the close-up of this little guy. He's I didn't even know this guy was green. He's starting to color up really well, so I'm pretty excited about this guy. Here's a look at the golden rod. I don't I don't know if it's golden or if it's green. I I can't tell. It's like right in the middle. My goal for the next five months is to have these SPS at the top rock really just grow and encrust onto the rocks. So whenever I move apartments in about five months or so, I'll just be able to lift up this top arch and it'll be super easy to transport. For the next minute, enjoy some of these close-ups. All right, now for this guy. So I noticed that the bleaching is occurring on the right side and it's not directly on top of the light. So my plan is to block out the sunlight on this right side of my tank. So you can, I noticed that it's on the right side on that third head. And my only conclusion is that it's coming from this window in the morning whenever the sun goes through because I leave this little gap. So that one shines right through, hits this wall of my tank and my little nano tank there. And I think that's what's causing the bleaching. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna leave this paper on for about a month and yeah, we'll see how it does. And by then, if that doesn't fix the problem, I think I'm gonna move the hammer to a lower portion of my tank. It might be because over the past three months, I've been ramping my lights up slowly but that's the only coral that's really taken the negative. Um, besides the hammers, my two Ghanis at the bottom right haven't been doing so well this past week. I can't figure out why I'm gonna run a few water tests this weekend whenever I get some time to do it after my schoolwork. And hopefully that resolves itself soon. I noticed that the two Ghanis on the left side of my tank that are positioned higher are doing a lot better than the, these two on the bottom right. So I think I might be because of where I positioned it, but I might move them soon. The cyano problem has really cleared out uh, these past two weeks, which I'm really happy about. I'm going to keep doing some water changes and dosing some nitrate. That seems to be helping the problem. But I think I'm going to have to change my Kimmy Pure Elite bag soon. I'm not sure if I'll switch back to Kimmy Pure Blue or I'll keep the Elite version. I'll decide that in another day, but otherwise the tank is doing really well and I'm super happy with what it looks like right now. I'm trying to cut down on buying more corals just because I'm about to move out soon and my tank is just, you know, small. My plan is to do a video alternating between my nano tank and my pico tank. So the next video will be over my pico tank. I'm planning to drop that video next week, so I hope to see you guys there. And I appreciate all the kind comments I've been getting over the past few videos. But if you made it this far, I would like to thank you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a goal of 100 subscribers by the end of February and 500 by the end of the year. So you guys could help me out. 
I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.